three. I want you to stand right here. Right? What's your name? Maylee. Maylee, nice to meet you. I'm Nathan. Hi. What grade are you in, Maylee? Uh, 11. 11th. Nice to meet you, Maylee, in 11th grade. Listen, I'm, I'm your friend. I'm growing up in this community, and we've been living life, and you've been with my friend since 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, and 9th grade, and here we are, and I've been battling with thoughts of ending it, and I've been battling with self-harm, and I come from a broken family, and I'm struggling, and you know what? I've been starting to compromise myself with drugs and alcohol, and you know me, and you know that I wanted to be a photographer for the National Geographic. We've lived life. You understand that I have this dream and this passion, but I'm over here in this world and I'm battling and I'm wearing my mask but I finally find the courage mainly and I begin to understand that I couldn't do this on my own so I come to you and I become transparent I punch fear in the face and I take off my mask and I begin to share with you and as I begin to share with you my transparency it's not so much the fact that you're there to to change me you can't change me you can't push me and you really can't pull me but what you're supposed to do is to be that person as I find the courage to talk when I run or run back hold my hand when I want to run, don't let me move don't let me move when I want to run back you don't let me go and you hold me as an anchor until I let that emotion go over my head hold me again and I'm trying to run back because I want to change and you're holding me there because you are somebody holding me accountable you're there you believe in me and it's so uncomfortable because that's always what I've always known has always been there and even though I want to go that way I'm trying to go back but you hold me you can't push me you can't pull me what you're supposed to do is to help me stay secure as an anchor as a tether so as I become to overcome that feeling and that emotion comes and goes like clouds you know what happens the emotion leaves I stop pulling, I breathe, and now I can keep walking. You see, accountability, it's not to push or to pull, it's to be an anchor. So when I wanna run back, I can't. And when I find the courage, and as you're holding me, you can encourage me, you can love on me, you can speak into my life, you can support me, you can be that person that can be a sounding board for me, you can be that person who helps me understand that I have a purpose and a value, but as at the end of the day, when the emotion comes, because emotions, they come and they go, when I begin to level back out, because man, there are those, those times of anxiety, there are those times when, when you know what, you get so uncomfortable because you feel like sometimes it's like you're metaphorically, you're naked in the world, when you start talking to somebody about your your insecurities and your vulnerabilities man it's like you're naked in front of everybody and nobody like feels comfortable doing that and so we want to run back to what we've always known but mainly you're right here and you don't let me and that's what I've learned about the power of taking off my mask and being transparent with you and you can hold me accountable I think sometimes we think accountability is somebody trying to keep you in trouble or to, or to tell on you or, or to, to be some authority no accountability is for you because you know the real power of transparency? See, transparency and taking off your mask, it's not so much that I'm talking to somebody about my stuff. It is, but see, I'm not talking to her because I'm expecting her to have some great revelation and some great word of insight. See, we live in such a fast paced world and we have so many things on our plate what's happened over time is we have became so surface we don't have depth and too much of anywhere that we want to go because we have so much on our plate and I'm not saying that's wrong but honestly there's only so much we as people can do and the world's gotten faster with technology and more things here and more things there and more expectations here and we're all like plugging our fingers in this dam and the dam spotting spotting leaks and we're trying to plug these holes and there's only so much that we can do and what's happened is we've lost depth we're shallow and when things are shallow it can be easily uprooted but when I find somebody that I can talk to it's not so much that you're here to give me some great revelation you know what you're doing as I'm as I'm right here and I'm talking to you you know what I'm really doing I'm processing, I'm talking, I'm thinking about my struggles, I'm thinking about my pains, I'm thinking about where I want to go. And when I take time to think, what you think on grows. And so as I'm standing here, your job to keep me secure and your job to listen to me, all you're really doing is being a sounding block that's letting me slow down so my roots can go deep because you can't change me, but you can support me. And you can help me always know that I belong. 
Give Maylie a round of applause, please.